Dean, a tough one to take. What did you make of it? Football suicide. Total control. Obviously, massive error for the first goal. Probably lucky goalie didn't get sent off. Um, we respond really well. I think they had two shots in the first half. One was a penal, and just after they scored, they had a shot. And then we've gotten to great areas. No killer end product. And in their ranks, they've got an assassin, and they in Norwood. So, look, this game's about levels. And if you've got somebody like Norwood, who can be the difference in these games, um, that gives you a huge help. So, but look, we kept going. We did our best. Um, I think the subs made us worse, I have to be honest with you. I'm disappointed with my own subs. Um, when I look at myself. Um, and we just lost control, started hitting doyags and all this kind of stuff, so they could counter-attack on us, risking the ball when we shouldn't have. It's so important when you play against top teams and top players, especially for this level, um, that you don't risk the ball, silly, and you don't turn it over. Because when you turn it over, they do what they've done second half to us. We played risky balls and uh, they turned it over, went, turned over, they counter-attacked on us and they murdered us. So. Look, full credit to them. Um, top shot a good response, second half. Obviously, to be, I say, to be one nil down, I didn't think we deserved that. We had some glorious chances. Hooper had a great chance, cleared off the line. Nicky hit the crossbar. Um, should have scored. Like we have to score them chances. It's as simple as that. So, look, all in all, we got what we deserved. You say those subs might have been the wrong decisions. What was it you were looking for when you did make those subs? I was looking for Courtney to run in behind and show us the pace. I was looking for Brunty to get on the ball and try and make something happen. Um, obviously, we couldn't play Hoops for 90 minutes. I thought Hoops was outstanding, finding the pockets behind the back of their midfield. We had loads of wit in the game. So we managed to get a penalty with Idris. Um, yeah, so like we couldn't, like I said, I couldn't play. I couldn't play Hoops too much longer at risk of injury because that's his first start, proper start for us. Um, yeah, I just wanted to look. A big key for us there was crossing the ball at the touchline. Currently, comes on, starts crossing it from deep. When you cross the ball on the touchline, it stops teams counter-attacking on you because you have players behind the ball when you cross the ball. And I preach this all the time, but it's the same players doing the same silly thing, so I'm going to have to do something about it. What is it that causes that sloppiness? Is it a lack of confidence? Players not sticking to the instructions. There's no confidence. Um, we've had obviously a bad week, but this division, I've said it all along, I've said on this camera so many times, you can win three on the bounce, you can lose three on the bounce. And we've just come up against one of the one of the better sides in the division, obviously very experienced manager and we've been really kicked in the teeth so yeah, we've just got to move on and dust ourselves down and go on to the next game. A couple of their goals came from 1v1 situations, yeah, is, yeah, is that a side effect of just how you want to play? I'll always play like that way, I'll leave it 1v1 at the back but when you've got somebody like Norwood who got the picture and can do what he does. If I'm being honest, the goal we can see the second goal is criminal, he can't score up in that angle, it's crazy. Um, I think that was the third attempt on a goal, is that correct? Yeah, I think that was the, maybe the third attempt on a goal. And we find ourselves obviously 2 1 down after getting back into the game. So, listen, you judge on what happens in this game, not what you think is going to happen. So, that's, that's, that's a message to the players. They know that message from me. Um, and realistically, by not sticking to the game plan and not showing that bravery and courage I asked them to, um, we've killed ourselves. We've shot ourselves in the foot. Idris Connor and Callum Stead swapped wings at some point in that first half. What was what were you looking for there and what did that bring? Yeah, look, Id's obviously he's dangerous, he's got the penalty, so is Callum, um, he's got loads of pace. I think I think we had a penalty first half for him. I think Kitchens pulled him back about five minutes before the, at half time. I watched the back and it looked like a clear penalty to me. So it's poor the ref missed that. The big moments to make it one all just before half time is a different half time team talk. Um, just the main thing out of that, they've got pace, we've got at them. Um, we've got so, so many good areas behind the back of their defence and our quality our end product wasn't good enough. And then finally, can you take any positives going into the next game? Yeah, Derby. yeah of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. Listen, you know, we've so many good phases, we've got so many good areas and we just lack that real assassin killer quality. Um, with so many good chances. If you actually look at the game on chances, in the end, obviously, we're chasing the game and we make naive decisions, but if you actually look at the game on chances, um, it won't be too far apart, really. We haven't taken ours and they've taken theirs. Thanks for your time.